1955 was another banner year in what many sports experts claim is the toughest football conference in the country. The 1955 Big Ten race was truly a thriller filled with surprises. Northwestern, although a disappointment, had its moments. Against Minnesota, Dale Pienta can't find a receiver for his jump pass, so he hits Jimmy Trollio with a flat pass that's a beauty. Here's the culmination of a drive against Minnesota that paid big dividends. Pianta throwing, and Jerry Weber making a fine catch for six points. <laughs> Against Indiana, Jerry Weber breaks loose for a Hoosier square dance that carries him through for a beautiful 39-yard gain. When the Wildcats were knocking on the golden door, Johnny Foster was a good man to have around. He busts through, and Northwestern has six points. Northwestern had another thrower besides Dale Pienta. Jackie Ellis fakes the handoff here, scampers out to his left, and lifts a strike to end Stan Dwyer, and Mr. Dwyer is home free. Against a very rugged Ohio State 11, Northwestern functioned very well and caused many an Ohio State rooter to go. Especially on this play, Ellis firing and Kurt Kruger making the grab. Northwestern's winless season ended on a high note against favorite Illinois. The snow didn't hamper Dale Pianta. Here he lifts a perfect aerial to left end Jack Stilwell that carries into Illinois territory. Coming up is one of Jimmy Trollio's best runs of the year. He takes from Pieta and zigzags his way through to the Illinois Three. That was a beautiful run by Trollio. That's him at left halfback, and he booms through for the vital touchdown. Let's take another look at this fabulous youngster. Here he is at his best as he closes out his collegiate career in a brilliant burst of speed that paves the way for Northwestern's 7-7 tie with highly favored Illinois. 